right. Here we are again, two in the same day. It is Friday, July 29th. It is 1 p.m. here in Miami. I am with Nicholas Berte, uh, who is in Portugal, and he is the founder uh, and CEO of Galloy. That is Galloy.io. Galloy is a super exciting company. Uh, they're developing a standard for Bitcoin banking. Uh, creating an open source uh, banking as a service BAS uh, platform uh, built on lightning for governments, communities, um, banking institutions, corporations, uh, all sorts of uh, different ways uh, that you can build. So I'm really excited to talk to him today. He's a technical giant uh, way more technically advanced uh, than any of us over here. Uh, and he is also responsible for the Adopting Bitcoin conference that is happening in El Salvador. I was lucky enough to go last year. Uh, I will be there again this year. Uh, that is in mid-November. It is very affordable. It is an awesome time. There's going to be a lot of great people uh, there this year. So uh, be sure to check that out, Adopting Bitcoin. So I'm happy to be here with Nicholas on this Friday afternoon. At least it's afternoon where I am. Uh, how are you today? I'm good. Thank you, Mike, for the introduction. And, and I, I, I will say I'm, I'm jealous of your background. I think my, I need to upgrade my, my room here to make it better. For sure, I'm gonna mail you a few of these. Okay, that'll be that'll be my gift when I when I get to El Salvador. Um, I, I'd love to ask some. Yes. All right, cool. So we're talking about Galloy, um, very very hot hyped company right now in the Bitcoin world. Uh, the the seed round uh, last year was very oversubscribed, and everyone was in, and you know. Uh, craft ventures and I mean the cap table is is really packed with top tier investors um, and uh, you know Valor Equity Partners, Lightning Labs invested, Kingsway Capital, Trammel Venture Partners, the Bitcoiner Ventures, Corey and his gang, Folger, Oleg, good friend of mine, love, love Oleg um, and um, you know, of course, Brad Mills and some of the usual suspects. So uh, for all the normies out there that don't know, um, can you give a really high level overview? What is Galloy? In, in short, we're building core banking software for Bitcoin. So what does it mean? The, the idea is that today it's for a company, an organization, a bank, it's not necessarily easy to adopt the Bitcoin. And we want to make it much uh, simpler to, to be able to adopt Bitcoin for receiving payments, sending payments. Um, and so our idea is to build a suite of protocols and tools that are open source that allow a company uh, typically today it will be a custodian like a bank uh, that will integrate to Lightning to be able to send and receive a payment. Uh, the first project that we have been uh, starting with Gallery is called the Bitcoin Beach Wallet. It's a wallet in El Salvador that aim as showing that actually you can use Lightning for day-to-day -day payment and this works. And so, yeah, this is the first way we're building, but now we're working with other community and other bank and new bank. Uh, uh, for the time being, it's uh, really focus on Latin America, but we're also starting to uh, have prospect in Africa to develop the Lightning Wallet. Um, and so right now, the, the idea is like in the next uh, couple of years, it will probably be a lot of uh, banks and, and new banks that will adopt Lightning. But eventually, our long-term vision is that every organization you know, may be able to become independent. And they might want to say that, hey, you know what? Like, I, I, maybe I don't need a bank anymore. I can just be my, my own custodian. I can host my key and I can... Uh, we see more of lightning, some other lightning. You know, I have my multi sig to store my phone, and we see a vision where 
they may be millions of organizations in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years, right? That will want to run their own mini bank for the organization. This is really um, the uh, type of feature we're building with and uh, the type of organization we think in the long run we will be working with. So starting with Bitcoin Beach uh, and the Bitcoin Beach uh, project, which at Lightning Ventures, uh, we were lucky to invest in Bitcoin Beach, uh, both through our fund and our syndicate. Um, awesome, right? And that's a, a community bank uh, in El Salvador, right? That's kind of the flagship product. Uh, that you guys rolled out. So um, that you now, Galloy owns or has, is a, at least a minority, some sort of shareholder in Bitcoin Beach Wallet. Is that correct? Yes, correct. So we, we, we started the project. Uh, so we have a, indeed a, a significant uh, shareholder in, in Bitcoin Beach Wallet. But our, our goal in the long run is not necessary to you know, to have a, a large equity stake, we want Bitcoin Beach Wallet to be really independent and raise money from investors because uh, Bitcoin Beach Wallet is a, a retail bank, if you want, right? Or the aim is to becoming a retail bank, starting with El Salvador, probably expand in, in, uh, in Central America, Latin America. Uh, so it's a, it's a B2C business. The product that we're reading at Gallery is the technology that Bitcoin Beach Wallet is using. Uh, and so it's a, this is why for, for us, like we want to be focused on the software, the technology, and Bitcoin Beach Wallet is focused on marketing and compliance, um, you know, getting, uh, 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 yeah, like, like onboarding customer doing the support. Like the way to think about it is, is similar today. If you think of a bank, uh, let's say the Community Bank of uh, Miami, uh, it's, uh, it, it's a bank that may have, I don't know, it's an imaginary bank, but it may have you know, 100 employees, 200 employees. And what they will do is uh, uh, they will uh, get loans, they will get a deposit product, no credit deposit product. Uh, they will do the support, right? they will do the marketing to get clients. One thing that this bank will typically not do is they will not build their own core banking software because they will contract with FIS, Fiserv, Jack Henry, one of the large leading core banking software. They will do the, the, the core, it's called core banking software and the bank will use it, right? Today, when you think about the, uh, the Bitcoin ecosystem, because Bitcoin is new, right? Today, there is no such segregation between the companies that, I guess, develop the technology and the companies that do the marketing and, and the compliance and the support. But as Bitcoin matures, there will be companies will start to specialize and there will be companies that specialize in building the software and there will be companies that specialize more into like the, the, the retail aspect, the, the marketing uh, that we have maybe more today in traditional market, uh, traditional banking market. So we, uh, we're not the only ones, but uh, everyone who sees it sees Galloy as a category defining company, right? In the way that uh, a lot of the cloud native uh, fintech uh, and payment companies are, uh, as far as Bitcoin banking, Galloway is, is leading the charge on that. Um, so as of right now, um, where is Galloway currently live? I know uh, I'm not up to date on the Bitcoin jungle project. Uh, and how is that different than Bitcoin Beach, right? I think Bitcoin jungle is, is kind of taking a lot more responsibility themselves as far as Bitcoin Beach was uh, you guys really being uh, more involved with launching that. And um, second question is, is how many small communities, churches, uh, local areas, have you been getting any demand from the smaller communities yet? Uh, or are you really, is it really large scale governments that you're mainly presenting to? Uh, so there is on one hand, like, a lot of uh, committee are reaching out to us because they want to replicate the success of uh, Bitcoin Beach Wallet. 
some of them are using Bitcoin Beach uh, for their, I guess, uh, community. Like Bitcoin Lake is an example in, in Guatemala. Uh, there is another project in Peru that is also using the Bitcoin Beach wallet that uh, is quite active. Uh, you know, I think we may have, have had, I don't know, like a couple of dozen communities that reach out to them and they would like to have their own wallet. Today, one of the challenges, uh, it's not straightforward to necessarily build a mobile wallet uh, for each of those clients. So we have not been able necessarily to answer the demand for those small uh, projects. And, and I think in the next year, we are also focusing on maybe larger clients, um, you know, think of larger bank or governments that also have a significant interest in building uh, wallets, specifically Lightning Wallet. And this is a type of uh, company we are working to today. We're working with, or at least, you know, have a discussion uh, in terms of uh, sales prospect. So are you waiting for countries to adopt? Is it like, a, are you waiting for these countries to follow suit of El Salvador, which is happening? And then do you go? and pitch uh, to the central bankers? Or do you already have a pipeline now uh, from inbound of people who are requesting uh, infrastructure? Yeah, that's a good question. So we we don't wait for a country to adopt Bitcoin. Uh, and, and you know, if you think about El Salvador, like we were uh, starting to work in El Salvador a year before the El Salvador, you know, adopt Bitcoin. So like, if you think about you know bottom up like the the, the work here uh, i guess in Elante was very effective right um and so we're definitely looking to replicate you know uh, this type of project where like it's it's a you know whether it's a community whether it's a, a, a new new bank that want to launch in a in a country uh for us it's a very exciting opportunity so the next uh, project that will be announced um that is working with us is Guat in Panama. Um, they there is like a regulatory uh, approval they need to do on their own before they can launch, but hopefully they will launch in the next month or two. Um, and it's an example of a new bank in Panama, and they want to see Bitcoin succeed in Panama, so they're building uh, basically a new bank, right? And, and they use our, our core banking system to do it. Uh, you know, that said, there is also interest from a uh, country or cities that want to build uh, lightning infrastructure. And so obviously we're talking with, um, you know, the ones that have uh, interest. Um, and, you know, to, we are in discussion with them to see how we can help them to, to build their own lightning wallet. So yeah, it, uh, an important detail is uh, when we also reach out to like uh, uh, you know, government, whether it's state or federal or a city. Uh, I think when we explain the, the technology we're building is that we said, you know, we can help you to build a system on lightning, but also you will be eventually sovereign uh, on your on your ecosystem, right? It's not like we're just offering an API to say, hey, you know, you can deploy to lightning. Uh, here is the API to send and receive fund. And like, we manage everything, you know, it's it's on our uh the way we we pitch those entities, those organizations, that we say we will help you to set up your own Lightning node. You know, you will have your own Bitcoin D, you have your own ledger, uh, and you will have your own multi sig where you will uh, keep your own key, and we will help you to deploy this because it's not necessarily easy to deploy. But I think what we're trying to pitch is really the, you know, not your key, not your coin, but as an institutional level, right? When oftentimes we think about not your key, not your coin, we think about it as a you know individual level. It's like sure, like if I want to have possession of my own money, um, you know, I have to have my other wallet, right? I have to have uh, because otherwise I'm it's an IU to someone else. What we when we are discussing with with those organization, we are saying that like, you know it's not your key, not your coin, but at the organization level, right? It's like we help you set up your system, but then it's yours, it's your Bitcoin, you know, it's not an IU to someone else. Uh, it's your lightning node, it's your lightning channels. And I think this is a, an appealing argument that, you know, we are offering uh, because like we are fully open source and it, it's 
allow them to say that, yes, you know, we can build it set on our own. We can also use a help from gallery because those type of uh, system are, are not, not necessarily simple to, to deploy. So I just want to illustrate uh, something here for some people who, who might be unaware, and that is since El Salvador uh, has adopted Bitcoin as legal tender, uh, this is just so impressive. I mean, look at this. Look at their GDP number. Um, that is just gorgeous uh, with 30% uh, increase in tourism. Um, and it has just been a huge benefit, right? So uh, you know, with uh, the example of something like uh, Costa Rica, you know, spends uh, however a hundred million dollars or five hundred million dollars uh, in the hundreds of millions of dollars every year uh, to to uh, to get tourism and to to be that safe place. Uh, El Salvador basically just bought that much Bitcoin, uh, received the same if not better numbers. Uh, on a percentage basis, and they have the Bitcoin to boot. So uh, I just wanted to point that out because I, I think it's important. Um, you mentioned free and open source banking, uh, and this is certainly a for-profit company. So how exactly does Galloy manage uh, a free and open source core banking platform uh, while remaining a for-profit entity? Can anyone just building it themselves? Have you found that some people um, have been able to accomplish that uh, as a non-revenue uh, uh, driver for the company? Uh, how does that work? Yeah, um, you can think about it like uh, Linux. Uh, you know, Linux is a free and open source operating system. Uh, it doesn't mean that you cannot be a business out of it. And if you look at Red Hat, for instance, which is a company that has been very successful, uh, because the reality is that it's not because this uh, software is, is uh, free as open source that necessarily you want to deploy it on your own and you are able to deploy it on your own for large scale enterprise. And so Red Hat Hub is very successful because an enterprise that may want to deploy like a, a million instance you know, and and their business will be will depend on this on the set of server. You know, in that case, you said, okay, please, Red Hat, uh, can you help me? Uh, can I have a SLA with you? Can you uh, fine tune this uh, feature? Can you resist? this? Uh, because we really need you. You're the one that builds this. Um, so you're the expert into this uh, operating system. And so, yeah, okay, can we have a contract and we'll pay you for, for these services, right? Um, or oh, you can think of uh, MongoDB as another example. MongoDB is, uh, is an open source database and like they're, they're actually uh, doing very well. Uh, and there's uh, more and more open source companies that are doing uh, very well. And uh, there is a difference between like the software is here and you can use it. And the fact that if you want to use it in an enterprise setting, when you want to have you know, high availability, you want to create new feature, you don't necessarily have the expertise to understand what's in this software. And so you you will hire the companies that build it to help you. Okay, so I want to uh I want to mention uh this Central African Republic, uh, which is fairly recent. Uh that was back in April, um, adopting legal tender following El Salvador. And you know, there's a document here, it's you know, 40 some pages, uh, 43 pages. And it's basically a pitch uh, to Orange Pill central bankers or for Galloway to give to central bankers. And I want to ask you, what is it like uh, pitching a central banker and some of these uh, these people from these, you know, these unelected officials, these positions, you know, you can go on Bitcoin, Twitter and everyone hates them. Uh, what is it like to sit down and actually explain Bitcoin to them? Are they receptive from the get go? Um, are, are they calling you for a reason? Um, how do those conversations usually go? Is it well received? Yeah, you know, so Sotal Bank are, uh, you know, Sotal Bank are human after all, right? And so uh, when they see a new technology that could change the life for other people, I think they listen uh, and and they, they, they like it, actually. Uh, you know, the context of these uh, conferences is a lot of uh, first, maybe uh, point to in mind, it's, it's a central banker that focus on financial inclusion. And so... Uh, a lot of the central banks uh, were from Africa, um, 
and so the, the commotion was in in El Salvador, uh, but but they were coming uh, around the world, but with a, with a, a significant part from from Africa. Uh, the the surprising, I guess, their eye opened when we showed um, lightning, you know, like uh, walking in person, right? Like it's like okay, you you go up to 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 central bunker, you know, they install two lightning wallets, and you 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 make them send a couple of sets, you know, hundred sets or a thousand sets. Uh, uh between them and, and they say and that's it like it works and it's uh, settlement is done and you know for them it's an eye-opening experience um and, and i think you know the effect this will have is that they would be you know more interesting into understanding bitcoin you know, most of them didn't know much uh, about bitcoin um i guess before the conference and i know they you know I, i'm not sure if there will be yet bitcoin evangelist or you know trying to push bitcoin but at least they, they will start to understand it and they will be less likely to to be against it right which is uh, the first step i think and, and i think will be successful in, in that sense so um how about um your thoughts uh or galley's position uh, on stable coins uh, stable coins on Bitcoin in some of these countries. Is there a lot of pushback to have some sort of Fed coin or other coin? Um, is that a part of your roadmap? How 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 are those conversations? Yeah, uh, I need to jump in a minute or two. Uh, <laughs> okay, you got it. I I I can answer this quickly. Uh, actually, we we. Uh, as as part of the fundraising, we'll be announcing next week. Uh, we we are releasing uh, a new product called Stable Sats. Uh, it's the uh, idea of creating USD value on top of Lightning using derivative markets. And so we have a website up uh, in the next uh, two or three days that explain, you know, what we'll be building. This will be rolled out to the Bitcoin Beach Wallet in the upcoming few weeks. Um, it's already in beta. We already have a a couple of, um, I guess, between 50 and 100 users that are uh, using it. Uh, the, the idea is that you, you can have a, a stable value on, on Lightning. It's something that you know everybody on Lightning wants, I think, and and this is a solution that we are we are proposing, and this will be announced next week. All right, stable Sats being announced next week. Um, Nicholas is a very busy guy. We appreciate any amount of time that he gives to us. Uh, to hang out and chat. Um, so in closing, adopting Bitcoin, second annual coming up in November. Uh, he will be there. And um, thanks for sitting down and uh, talking Galloway with us. Yeah, it sounds like uh, I look forward to seeing many of you uh, adopting Bitcoin. Um, it's uh, If you want to learn about Lightning, I think it's the best conference to attend. Um, all right. Well, thank you, man. Have a good uh, Friday and weekend and all that stuff.